everyone and welcome to this Video Song Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield. And what we have here today is, well, it's something rather special. Because here we have a laptop. It was, um, here we have a laptop that's by Asus. But what the sets this apart from other laptops on my channel, not sure if I've had any other straight Asus laptops on here before, might have done in 2014, um, when I fixed one. But apart from that, this is uh, probably at least one of the first Asus laptops that I've had on this channel that actually wears an Asus badge. Would you look at that? <laughs> no, I'm, be I'm being serious here, actually, because um, I have featured other Asus machines on this channel. Um, I featured a an Asus AS7400. Except it was never called that over here. It was called the high-grade... Hang on, no, it was the Asus7400 known here as the High Grade Notino, the S7400. Um, and the other Asus laptop I've had is um, the A3F, known simply as the Ergo Ensis. So this here is an Asus X54C. Now this machine is of 2011 vintage, and it actually belongs to my mother. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to reformat it and uh, reinstall Windows 7. But before we do that, why don't I give you the grand tour of the machine? Right, on the left hand side we have, well nothing if I'm honest because we can't actually see anything because um, I'm not bothered to shed any light on the affair. So I'll do that, and some stuff might start to appear on this machine. Oh look, it has. We have a event. For some reason the AC, the DCN is here. Asus, why? Then there's an uh, blah, blah, blah. Ethernet port, VGA, HDMI. USB 3. On the front of the machine we have um, headphone and microphone jacks, um, multimedia card reader, and then on this side we have a USB 2 port and um, a DVD burner. So this system is you know, basically is is very very simple. It's um, it's a member of the X series, which uh, means it's a value machine, and and in fact it is. I mean, um, I think it originally cost about three hundred pounds when it was new, and that was a way back in twenty eleven. Came with Windows seven on it and an Intel Celeron, I do believe, in it. Anyway, enough of that. What we're going to do is basically we're going to install Windows 7. So what I have here is a Windows 7 Home Premium Desk. Oopsie. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I think, actually. Once again. I I think there's been I think there's been something spelt on this machine, actually. I honestly do, because um I honestly do because some of the keys are feeling a wee bit sticky. Oh, I wonder. You know what? I've forgotten the key to... Oh yeah, it is escape. 
If this was an Asus desktop or motherboard, it would be um, it would be F8 to actually access the boot menu. <clears throat> so there we go. Well, I've done some washing up and the kettle is boiling. So, while that's taking place, why don't we actually install some stuff? I think we should. English, United States, absolutely fine. No, United Kingdom. Of course, I'm not installing for the States, am I? In your own time. Yeah, daft doll machine. Okay, so uh, what we're doing is we want to go to custom. Now I stupidly left the external hard drive plugged in. Don't do that. Um, because, you know, you could get confused and end up deleting the contents of it. Luckily I know, luckily I only want to delete the contents of disk zero. So what I'm gonna do is actually do that. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it using desk part. And put the exit out of that. So I can list disk. I know that, um, yep, disk zero is the one we want because it's um, 320 gigs. Select disk zero, clean, so off that goes, cleans the disk, formats it, and then boom, it's done. Let's partition, there are no partitions on this disk to show. What happened there? Silly touchpad. That's not right. So what I'm gonna do? Yeah, that's fine. The element drive is still there, and now the um, internal hard disk is full of unpartitioned space. So I'm just gonna select disk zero and click next, and then hopefully what that will do is that'll make the partition. Well, the partitions. And that's exactly what it started to do, I think. So I'll let this go and expand Windows files and then I will come back to you once we get to the out of the box experience. Okay. So <clears throat> we are at the out of the box experience. I've just done the first few bits off of camera and um, now we want to select and um, I'm not sure this is a good idea but I'm going to use the recommended settings and then yep yeah, that's the correct date and time good and now we're installed now um, <clears throat> what I did do actually um, I actually realized this machine has support for UEFI so I've actually uh, done that I've actually enabled it um, you know, in a bid to make this machine go fast or faster. So now what I'm going to do, and plug, uh, I will um, let it load to the desktop and I'm going to plug the hard disk drive back in and um, well, we'll get some drivers installed. Okay, so we're back and um, I have all the drivers here and uh, the way to install them a lot of these drivers are very similar to the ones that um, came with my motherboard probably because it's an Intel board by Asus <laughs> it's funny that um, 
But uh, the first thing I need to do is install the Intel INF update, just like I did with the Ergo Ensys. Um, and then I need to go ahead and install things like Rapid Storage Technology, Management Interface Engine, then the Display Driver and the USB 3 Driver, LAN Driver, Sound Driver, and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch as I install one by one all the drivers to this system. I'll do that off of camera. But I will be back when this machine is up and running and I'm ready to connect it to the network and um, actually do some cool software based stuff. So I will be back soon. Well folks, most of the drivers are finally installed on uh, my mother's laptop and I'm currently um, using Ninite to install a few things. You know, install Firefox and Chrome because I'm not sure which one she uses. Uh, Silverlight and Air, as well as Flash, because um, and Java and Shockwave, because you need plugins to access the internet in any way, shape, or form. That's not just blank pages with loads of odd squares on them. Seven uh, Zip um, for unzipping stuff. Revo. I don't think she will use that, but I know I will when I'm team viewed in and the machine's running slow. Um, Oslogix. That's a defragging program recommended to me by Elmal3. Um, Team Viewer, obviously. Um, VLC Media Player. Skype. Um, Adobe Reader. Um, I'm going to install iTunes Quick uh, QuickTime and the um, Java Development Kit for some reason. Um, whoops. <laughs> um, but... Um, yeah, so I will um, I will come back to you once all that is done. Okay, guys. So um, what we've done, what I've done now is I've installed all the nine eight things. Um, I need to go back and do it again because there's a couple of things I forgot to install. Um, but I do plan to install some antivirus. Um, I plan to install Image Burn and I plan to install Office two thousand and three with the two thousand and seven compatibility pack. Um, you know, sometimes I think my mum uses Word, um, but I know that she definitely uses, uh, you know, sometimes she'll get an email, she'll, sometimes she'll get the odd email and, you know, from a friend that'll have a PowerPoint presentation attached. So I know that's used. So yeah, Office will go on here. So, I think uh, with that, I'm probably going to turn in for the night. Because <laughs> this is getting really... I'm getting really quite tired, actually, because, I mean, it's it's 10 to 4 in the morning. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, in the morning. I'll be back when it's daylight, I think, maybe. You know, I've got stuff to do. You know, I'm going to make sure this is done to the best of my ability. Um, because, you know, that's just how I am with these things. Well guys, it's um, it's now daylight and um, I've been hard at work putting stuff on this machine. It's uh, We've got Microsoft Office uh, 2003. There we go. Office 2003. This is, I mean it uses Intel graphics. It's an Intel Celeron, it's a Sandy Bridge one. It's got 4 gigs of RAM and a 320 gig hard disk drive. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have and you'd like to see more, please feel free to subscribe, to like Videos on Frontier on Facebook, and to follow me on Twitter. The URLs for all three will follow. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this video, and please join me for the next one. Cheerio, bye.